Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Meter, we are going to see how you can create an AI image generator app that is similar to DAL-E in MIT App Meter, which uses the OpenAI's API to draw images. If you are not aware of DAL-E, it is an AI tool which can draw any image you want. First, you give an image prompt, for example, realistic image of a monkey in space eating a banana and it generates realistic images which are drawn by AI. We are going to create a similar AI image generator in MIT App Inventor. If you are not aware of MIT App Inventor, it is a platform where you can create mobile apps without coding just by dragging blocks. So first we are going to create a new project in MIT App Inventor named AI Image Generator. Next, in the properties of screen 1, scroll down and change the theme of this screen 1 to be device default and change the title to be AI Image Generator. Next, we are going to bring in a label and then we need to put this label at the center of screen 1. So let's change the highlight horizontal property to be centered like this. Next, we are going to change the text of this label 1 to be describe your image. Next, we are going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this label to be 25 like this. Next, we are going to bring in a text box where the user will type their image description or the image they want the AI to draw. Now, we are going to put the width of this text box to be fill parent. Also, make sure to change the hint of this to be image description. Next, make sure you enable the multi-line property so that the user can enter lots of lines about the description of the image. Next, we are going to bring in a button and we are going to change the text of this button to be draw image. Let's make the font to be bold. Next, we are going to bring in an image where we are going to show the image which is generated by the AI. So, after the user clicks on the draw image, the AI will use this text description to generate the proper image so the AI will draw the image and we are going to show it in this image one so we are going to put the height and width of this to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole screen like this next we are going to use this open AI extension so that the AI can generate images based on the description so first you can go to this link to access the extension and basically this is the extension using which you can integrate the open AI and with app inventor so that you can generate images from text so make sure you scroll down and make sure you download the AIX file or the extension file. Back in the MIT App Inventor, let's scroll down and go to the extension section where we are going to import the OpenAI extension. So click on choose file and import the AIX file of the extension. Now click on import. Now you can see that the OpenAI extension is imported. Now let's just drag it inside the viewer and you can see that it is visible in the components. So we are going to generate an API key which we will give this which we will give to the OpenAI extension so that it can generate images. So to generate an OpenAI API key, you can visit this website openai.com and click on the API link. Next you can log in or sign up. Now click on your profile picture and let's go to the view API keys link. To create a new API key, click on this button and over here you will be able to see your API key which you can just copy as we need it for later. Now back in MRT App Inventor, let's go to the block section. So first we are going to create a new variable. So let's bring in this block, initialize global and the name of this variable is going to be API key. So in this variable we are going to store our API key. So let's go to text and we are going to bring in the obfuscated text because it has more security. And then now you can paste your API key over here in the obfuscated text. Next let's go to the button 1 component and we are going to bring in this block. So when the user clicks on button 1, so button 1 is this draw image button the AI should generate the image so for that we are going to, to use the open AI extension which will use the API of the open AI to generate the image so over here you can bring in this block called open AI dot generate image and then over here you can enter the prompt so the prompt is going to be whatever the user enters in this text box so let's go let's scroll down and we are going to bring in this block text box one dot text so in this text box, the user will describe the image and this is going to be the prompt for the OpenAI API. Next, we need to enter the API key, which we have already stored in this global variable. So we can just get the global API key. Next, we, we are going to go to the screen one and we are going to set the title. We are going to change the title of screen one. So let's bring in this block, set screen one dot title to. And over here, we are going to go to the text and we are going to bring in an empty string. So we are going to change the title of the screen one to be loading. So we are changing the title so that we can show that the AI is creating or drawing the image. So to show that we are going to put loading over here. Next after the open AI generates the image. So we are going to bring in this block. When open AI one dot got image. 
we are going to, we will get the image url so we are going to show the image in this image one component so let's go over here and we are going to bring in this block set image one dot picture to and then we are going to put the image url variable over here so that we can get the image and show it in the image one component next we need to again change the title to be ai image generator so we can copy this and let's change it to be ai image generator now also make sure to add this block when openai.error so that you will get notified whenever there is an error in the app. So it, the errors can happen when the, uh, the openai server is down or it is not reachable. So for that you can just add a label or you can also change the title of screen 1 and you can show the error message. So you can just get the error message from this variable and show it so that you will get to know that there is an error and you can find out what is the mistake in the app. Now let us test this app and let's see if it is working. So over here you can see the AI image generator app. So now I'm going to describe my image. So I'm going to put a lion working on a MacBook drinking juice. And now I'm going to click on draw image. You can see that it is loading. So it is drawing the image. Now you can see that it has drawn the lion and also the juice. And you can see that it is working on a laptop. Next we are going to give another image prompt for this. So I'm going to type a hover card flying over a futuristic city next let's click on draw image you can see that it is drawing the image now you can see that it has generated the image you can see the flying car and you can see like that there's a city a futuristic city with lots of buildings and technology so this ai can literally draw anything you want next you can create a ai image classifier app using which the ai can classify images based on what you show in the mobile camera so you can point on an object and it will find out what it is and it will also describe the image which you have pointed out in the camera. So to create this app you can use the image classification extension for which I'll be making a video soon. Using the same OpenAI extension you can also create a AI chatbot app which can generate anything. So it can generate essays, poems and anything you want. It can also give replies to any question you ask. So for that we are going to use the GPT-3 model of OpenAI which will use the same MIT App Inventor extension. So as I said before you can use the same OpenAI extension so that you can use the OpenAI chat GPT API using which you can use this block. You can put the prompt, the model, API key, max tokens and you can put the informative block or the boolean. And then over here you can again do the got response block using which you can get the response and you can also get the token spent and you can show everything in the app so you can create a full-fledged ai chatbot which is similar to chat gpt and it can generate any content you want so for a full tutorial on the ai chatbot watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor over here